Come on, let's go. All right, here we are. It's Jeep Beach Week in Daytona. But somehow we are in the middle of the swamp, away from all the crowds and the excitement because we just had to get out here. The question is, are we gonna get back and will this brand new Ford F-150 make it out? Stay tuned. It's your favorite honey badger! This traffic is horrendous, and it's because I missed my exit. Joshy, look out your window. Look at that. Joshy, there's a turtle. Look. There's a little turtle crossing the road. Hey, bud. We're just about here. Let me see this turtle. Hey, little guy. Man, another beautiful morning out in the wilderness. Now it's not that early, but I'm pretty tired. And that's because I've got a three-year-old that unless he's in a sleeping bag or a small bed, like a kid bed, that dude is just rolling around like a stinking alligator in a fight, man, all through the night. I had to grab him up and pull him in close and try to keep him in one spot. Otherwise, he keeps himself up and, my, and me up. So I'm running a little low on sleep. I think I've got a plan for tonight uh, to try and keep him in one place and, and help him sleep a little better and help me sleep a little better. Eric, Mr. E, Big E, right here. Whoa, 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 camera shy. It's okay, we, we've, got, we've, got a, we've got a solution for this. Say good morning. Buenos dias. For all of our South American viewers. <laughs> hey y'all, we're excited man. It's Jeep Beach Week. We're out here. Some of us more excited than others. I mean, it's not an F-150 beach day, I mean, come on. Yeah, and for as long as this vehicle's been around, it's never been special enough to have its own week. Just say you're not. <laughs> it may have been the first vehicle. Oh, you hear that? Joshy, you're awake. Yes, let's go see him. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I'll come help you. Knock that off. <gasps> Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hi. How'd you sleep, dude? Good. You ready for a day of adventure? Good. Yeah? Yeah, you kept me up so late. I'm so tired. You kept me awake all night. Yeah. Josh, do you like bacon? <gasps> bacon. Say, say bacon. Bacon. Say, is it plant-based bacon? Check out all these Jeeps coming out in the rain. Actually, there's not that many out here right now. Maybe 15, 20. But, you know, every group has that one guy it just doesn't seem to fit in the mold <laughs> there he goes running it's break-in day officially for eric's f-150 you excited bro a little nervous a okay. little anxious but um, I'm ready to send it. Okay, I'm okay, cool. I don't know if I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna send it honey badger style. You can't but I'm definitely there's only one honey badger. You don't have to. Send it. Yeah. Yep. You're gonna get out there, learn your vehicle, feel it out. Feel yeah, it's gonna be fun, man. You don't have to try and break the shocks on day one or drown it. But here we go, man. Out here, Ocala National Forest. Not too far from where Jeep Week's taking place. We just decided to get out here and and do what we do. I mean, it's fun to, to see all the, the commercial corporate side of things. And I'm glad that those things exist because otherwise I wouldn't have had this cool gear to put on my vehicle. 
And but uh, there's no cool gear for Eric to put on his. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, look, we can finally stop calling this thing a, a car and calling it a truck today. At least that's my hope. We're gonna find out. Well, look who finally decided to show up with a truck. Where's he at? Hey, nice truck, dude. Come on. Don't be camera shy now. good. How's it feel? Feels good, man. Feels good. Has all the power in the world. Push right through that sugar sand. Went through the water, no problem. I need to get it lifted a little higher though, but it's coming.
Keep it coming, 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 keep it coming. Yes! Mr. Gareth, uh, you need to come get me, bud. Right. Eric is stuck. We are going to get him out. This is his first need for a vehicle recovery. Let's not let the man down. Save the FX4! Save the FX4! Please save me! Tell me when I'm close enough. Keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming, you're looking good. Keep coming at me. Keep coming at me. That should be good. You should be able to jump back and throw it to me. No, you stay where you're at, man. This is my job now. You're, you're in the driver's seat. I'm saving your butt today. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. A little bit more. A little bit more. That's good. Okay, stay right there, Joshy. It's one way to do it. You good? No water inside, okay? Ugh. I should have had my boots untied. This may have all been for nothing. Ugh. The cool thing about him giving me the thumbs up is it means I can slow my roll a little bit and make sure I don't botch this. Oh, I'm still a million miles away. Well, looks like it's time to be a good friend. <laughs> kind of feels nice to be on the other end. It kind of feels nice to be on the other end. That's why. Ah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. This is so stinking awesome. Everything's awesome. Um, as long as the snakes stay away. 
Everything is awesome as long as I don't get bit by a gator. Hallelujah. Okay, we got something right there. Everything is awesome. Say, you owe me a pair of boots, bro. I am so thrilled right now about this moment. I just want to tell you how happy I am to be standing in this mug while you're sitting in your uh, mobile office. Go right here. That thing is luckily maxed out. Ridiculous. Okay, I sure hope these boots dry overnight. Hey, Joshy, can you pull forward? A couple more years still. All right, in the name of Jesus. I'm still gonna climb because of snakes. Golly. Okay, you ready? All right, let's do this. I'm in drive, ready to go. And don't run over your rope, I got it. Keep coming. Keep coming. Wait a minute, Eric. Oh no. Did you have water in there? Why didn't you? Well, say you got a little bit did of you water know? in the FX4. Yep. Oh man. doors. The oh. doors have drains. Oh. See? Dude, I thought I failed you so bad then. I wasn't... Doors. Your carpet's dry here. Are these good? Yeah. That's We're good. great. We're good. I was watching the back bumper. It was just below the bumper. So. Hey, how do you feel about that? That was your first recovery. So my first recovery, yes. That I didn't actively participate in the recovery. Also. But the thing is, you should you should stay with the vehicle. You should stay in the driver's seat and like let us work it. You know what I mean? It's, it's too much trying to go back and forth um, when you don't have to. When there's the people here. Yeah. But dude, you stayed calm. You didn't get ticked off. And even when you opened that door and saw water coming out, you yeah. grabbed your camera instead of instead of getting ticked off. Why? So that's the point. Mm -hmm. Whether, whether your thing is golf or it's getting outside here, I mean, you know, I did a short stunt on a golf course and I would see people throwing clubs and cursing and getting so mad when they're, out, they're supposed to be out there enjoying nature, if that's what that is. But I've seen the same thing out here with a close friend of mine, like getting fired up because, you know, a, a panel had a little bit of a dent in it. That's, that's part of doing this. And we don't come out here to ruin our stuff, but you know, you, you, you just I gotta flow it. Get the truck to keep it polished and high and tight. Come on. You know, there's that Chinese art, right? About, they, they make art out of broken stuff. Something beautiful out of something broken. And you, you can't get to the end of the road, man, and not have any marks or any, any, anything that brings up a story. This is living. Good for you, man. Way to go. So, Ready? yes. Let's get to more. Killing me. This is gonna be a tight section, bro. Let's go, let's go. You already got me here now. Am I going to be able to get through that? Um, I'm in four high, so... You want me to hook the strap to you? 
Let me get as far as I can get. You can see. Give me a sec, I can't talk and drive. One second. Yeah, I'm stuck. Hey, Eric. Oh. Sometimes you get down a really skinny trail that you know you can't go backwards on. And then suddenly you decide that you might have to go backwards. So I've got a small saw. No hatchet on me. You don't have that little hatchet? I think that's in the cook box back at the camp. But I've got, a, I've got a handsaw and I've got a winch. It looks like once we get past this. What about this? Because if we can just go right. Eric, look at me. Let's have a little chat on this log. Would you guys join us? Let's have a chat. We're out in the middle of the woods. We're supposed to be taking our time enjoying stuff. Come here, Mr. E, with your flip flops. 
rocking them. Come have a seat. It's a little, a little chat in the woods with a couple of old men. There he is. Okay, so tomorrow we are gonna be on some pretty cool stuff. Crazy obstacles, apparently. I'm assuming it's a, it's a closed course, right? Hopefully we can get there. Here's the thing, no matter what happens, there's gonna be someone there to pull you out. You can walk a couple hundred meters to the staging area or whatever, call your tow truck. There's gonna be people everywhere, coaches, everything. But now we're out here by ourselves. Ford F-150 FX4 and the Honey Badger. Brand new. Yeah, that's how you do it though. That, that is Honey Badger style. 3,000 miles, just broken. Oh, that's not Honey Badger style. Just broken. <laughs> no, I was already on my second engine, wasn't I? No, I wasn't, not quite yet. But um, this is what we love, man. I don't know, man. It's rough. Rough. It can deal with. Out of the way. Okay. Keep coming this way. Keep coming this way. Yeah. This is this is all doable. Keep the right tire right here. Kind of push through that thicket stuff there. What's that? This is gnarly. Yeah, but I think I think we can do this, right? Look around us. Look around us. We're supposed to be at Daytona having like a beach fest thing, right? Do you hear a highway? Oh, no. Do you hear a plane? Gosh, no. Thank you, Jesus. I don't hear anything except the insects around us. It's beautiful, bro. And the purr of my FX4. Did you... The thing's been doing work. It's been doing some serious work. Stock. We didn't mean to get this deep, but I'll tell you what. We've also got a lot of faith and trust and feel like it was all right to be here. Let's make it easy. Over here. Now, you can see me sitting here relaxed, but let's be honest, right, Eric? I'm not relaxed. I, I know, but I, I, I've been through this and come out the other side, and uh, we're doing really good right now. I didn't, in a million years... <laughs> think we'd be here. I didn't. Think I would be putting my truck through what I what I did today, so I have to come to peace with that. That's a tough thing for me, you know what I mean? Because I like to take care of my stuff. I'm proud of you, though. But I understand that it's a tool and it's serving a purpose, and I get that. And I'm okay with that. But it's just the evolution to allow myself to let go of those yeah. things and understand that it's my problem. I have to just. No, that's it. cool. So, Lord, what I was going to pray, Heavenly Father, is just that that before anything else has an influence in our mood or any, our, our, our thought process, the way we feel, whether it's a song or, or, or the emotion of the moment or whatever. God, I pray that it would be your peace that comes in and causes this to be a settled moment. I pray that it'd be your comfort and your word, your reassurance. And Lord, I pray that you protect my friend in his vehicle in Jesus' name. And Lord, I, I pray that you protect the Rubicon too. <laughs> Hey Amen. Let's do it. Josh, he's back there. You ready? No. Let's go.
go again. Nah, Try to get out of here. Down in the Who's your favorite honey badger? Yeah! <laughs> man, I'm such an old man. I've got a pair of sunglasses on my head, another pair of glasses on my face. I'm switching back and forth. But this has been an absolute epic day. Multiple times not knowing if we were gonna be setting up the rooftop tent and making that camp. But there is light at the end of the tunnel and not much light, might I say. Uh, it's getting dark quick and I wanna get back to camp, get this boy back here who's been amazing. What an awesome, awesome guy to have riding me. What's up, Joshy? You having fun? <laughs> I like that shark you got there. We are having an awesome time. All right, let's go. Leave some comments below. Where is it that most people aren't going that you think we should try? That you think we could legitimately get through? Put that in the comments below.
are wet. Thanks for that. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are at Jeep Fest 2021. And as you see, we got a ton, a ton of Jeeps here. Tons of Jeeps. But there's one huge problem with all of these Jeeps. Do you guys see the problem? They're way too clean, way too clean. So you know we had to come represent, and we're representing, boom, with our 2021 F-150 XLT FX4 package. Is this where they're doing the free car washes? <laughs> Here we are, Daytona Beach Beach on the back side of the raceway. Really a cool thing. There's just so much to look at. Wouldn't be able to film it all for you. You're gonna have to come see it for yourself, y'all. Hey, look what we found, another Jeep with mud on it. to the back corner to find another Jeep with mud on it. When did you do that? Uh, yesterday. Where at? At the, uh, the Tiger Bay State Park. Okay, the yeah. Forest, yeah, we're staying out there, man. Yeah, so we went and ran through there yesterday. We're thinking about, this, we're thinking about doing the trail ride today. Yeah. But we're not sure if there's going to be a ton of people there. It's going to be a traffic jam, man. Honey Badger, are you going to send it, sir? I think so, man. You got to make sure uh, I've seen you do work, my brother. Come on, now. Negative. I know they go yeah. that way. Huh? They go that way. You said this way was above that door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't go that way, dude. <laughs> Yeah. 
new friend Kevin and he was really awesome and invited us in to show us something that he built with him and his wife and their bare hands. This is Wilma. Yeah. Show us <laughs> your project. Let's go. So this thing was an old just church bus you said? Correct. Okay. Church bus and uh, got low miles well taken care of so we, uh, we gobbled it up. We've been looking for a while. Okay. And it was about a year's search before we found the right bus. 
just another way to get out and constantly be out experiencing nature and Love that freedom. To be Love to be outside. Come on in. Right in. Okay, let's go. It might be a little messy because, you know, look at it. There we go. It's lived in. I don't know if we need more light. And I think we can see just fine. This is amazing. So everything is done by you and your wife Correct. by hand. Correct. Everything wow. in here. And uh, we're, we're firm believers in trying to keep it simple. Um, I mean, you can see some bus builds that are extremely, really, really well done. But this is simple. It's the way we like it. Um, come on back in, take a quick little walk. Absolutely. Basically just a kitchen, big sink, stove, oven. Meds because we're old. <laughs> uh, couch area with storage underneath. Okay. Here's our dinette again. Simple. I think we got that at the garage sale for 10 bucks or something. Perfect. And uh, as you walk back, it's just basically, well, obviously the fridge. This is our shower area. Very simple. Nothing to it. Was that difficult to? to ensure that it stays dry and st or stays wet over there and dry over here? Actually, we've never had any water come out. Okay. Only when we come out, but we sure. come out here. And uh, a nice hot shower whenever you want it, it's good. This is basically the, uh, it's just a composting toilet. Nothing fancy, but uh, simple, very simple. And this is our electrical closet in here. That's got a mess in it, so I won't show you. <laughs> But back here is just a master bedroom. I just think it's amazing. You know, whether this is your style or not, Kevin and his wife, Beth, they had to check out other YouTubers, but get online, do the research, and figure out how you put an electrical system into a bus <laughs> that runs like a house. And how am I gonna have water? How am I gonna be comfortable? And how are we gonna make things fit and bounce down the road? I mean, there's not a kit that you buy for that. No. This is really getting out there. This is real adventure. And then they come out and they put it to test and it's really cool to meet friendly people like this on the road. And, and so whatever your flavor is, again, we just encourage you to get out there and, uh, and connect, um, come to life and uh, connect with hope again. Absolutely. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Man, this is exactly what we try to avoid, but things happen and that's why we go slow. You got it. And we stop it before it becomes a real issue, like wrapping around a wheel multiple times. Honestly, it's not ideal to be pulling around curves like that. Bro, hey, you are legit now. Got it. Okay, what do you say we uh, go have some campfire food? Everyone else will be running for a shower because uh, they didn't get in the mud today. So we're just going to go and bathe in some camp smoke. <laughs> <laughs>